All right, so here we have the new motors from Spintech. These are the 1304 size, and uh, they're SM1304 in 3KV configurations, 5200, 6500, and 8600 KV. So these were sent to me by Spintech. Uh, thank you for sending them for testing. They did send them quite a while ago and just haven't had time to test them and get the video out. So I gotta apologize to Spintech for the huge delay. Sorry about that, but finally I got to them. Uh, it's just been quite busy uh, these last few months. But anyway, uh, here are the tests of the motors and According to Spintech, this 1304 size was developed as an uh, alternative to the 1106 uh, because the 1106 motor, a lot of people are not happy how it handles, how it develops the power. Uh, there's not a, that much resolution on the lower to mid range RPM. Uh, so these are supposed to solve that issue uh, and have pretty good throttle resolution throughout the RPM range and of course give you slightly better thrust and efficiency so these tiny motors won't be lipo killers and uh, basically designed for two and a half to three inch props apparently this size is touted to be much better than the 1106 size motors uh, so let's get one of these motors out and they come in these anti-static bags so they include uh, six screws it looks like and these are M2 by 7 so this would be for propellers uh, so here's the motor uh, looks quite slick uh, pretty minimal it's got a naked bottom base but I can see it's got two different mounting patterns on this so that's quite interesting uh, they're providing you with uh, looks like 12 and nine millimeter uh, spacing for the uh, for the motor mount so so that could come useful for some frames um, you have uh, options on frames uh, so it should cover pretty much any frame out there and a pretty minimal spoke pattern here uh, to reduce weight a thick wire for the motor for this thickness you probably don't save that much going to a thinner wire so it's uh, no biggie to have this 24 gauge wire and they give you about 85 millimeters worth of uh, wire so let's see what it weighs with that much wire and that comes in at 8.5 grams uh, so not too bad uh, pretty comparable with other uh, motors of this size and perhaps just a little bit heavier than the 1106s maybe or right about the same weight so let's take that circlip out and pull the motor out and we'll have a look under the magnifying glass just see what it looks like uh, up close all right so that's the circlip removed careful when you take that out and it's got a a brass washer uh, so there it is and uh, that's a two millimeter shaft so uh, pretty much standard for this size motor so let's see how easy it comes out yeah pretty easy to remove there's no specs on what kind of magnets they use and uh, there's the stator kind of looks like it's single strand wire on that winding and there's no mention of brand on the bearing all right so let's measure the height of the stator I'll just get an approximation see if it's in fact four millimeters uh, so there we go uh, yeah it's uh, right about four millimeters so we can call that four millimeter stator of course the width of the stator would be 13 so it's right about there uh, yeah, there it is, uh, 13 millimeters all the way to the face of the stator. So 13 by 4, looks pretty standard, pretty well made. Uh, let's see, there's a, there is a small lip there on the ring to help retain the magnet, so that's pretty good. Uh, so nicely machined. Uh, no balancing mud there perhaps because they did an excellent job 
on the CNC machine in these uh, bells uh, should be okay I think so there's the gap the tolerances uh, pretty tight so it's gonna be interesting to see what this uh, uh, 5200 kV motor uh, does on the thrust stand uh, so this would be for 3S and 4S uh, for two and a half and three inch props and according to the uh, Spintec website they've had these motors clocked at 90 miles per hour that was with the uh, two and a half inch propeller on 4S but they don't mention which kV I would imagine is this 5200 kV but yeah uh, you could read that on, on the website alright so we'll put back uh, this sir clip put it on the thrust stand and see how it does Alright, let's have a quick look at the thrust test results for the Spintec SM1304 5200 kV. This one came in at a slightly lower 4840 kV as measured by my thrust stand. So fairly close for this size motor. So I went ahead and tested on 3S and 4S with uh, some of the usual props that I test for these size motors. I throw in a 2 inch prop, which uh, probably not a good match for this motor, too small. Uh, this is mainly been designed for a 2.5 and a 3 inch prop uh, so these are the ones that we are gonna take a look at so actually when you compare the thrust test results to the 1106 we can definitely see that this motor is of course performing better than an 1106 and compared to the 1108 is lower performance than an 1108 as you saw the weights uh, this one falls right in between an 1106 and an 1108 as far as weight and also the main theory behind this size motor is the control so this uh, wider stator is supposed to have a better throttle control so uh, that's something to um, investigate and research i haven't flown uh, this motor yet so i really can't uh, confirm that's the case uh, but I'm sure there's uh, quite a few people that have already been flying this so that's something to look at so anyways uh, you can take a look at some of the 1106s I've tested some 6000 kV motors on uh, 3S and 4S and a couple of 1108s I believe I have the iFlight Tachyon 1108 I think it was 4500 so that's one good one to compare it to so it's uh, that one is doing better performance than this one uh, but this motor is doing better than the 1106s so uh, should be a good option if you don't want to use 1106 motor all right so that's the thrust test uh, results and review for this motor hope you find that useful and uh, thank you for watching and just keep an eye out for more tests to come thanks <laughs>